Yeah, back uh, to her behind him, I should have said. Right? Your line has to go back behind him that way. All right, so here's the drill. I'm gonna pop the ball to you. As soon as I do, you throw it to the coach. Go ahead. All right, and you're gonna throw it to the coach, and you're gonna throw it to the player. Now, when you get it, you're gonna drive the ball to the baseline. Two dribbles, then pick it up, okay? So let's go back to the beginning. As soon as you throw it, you must sprint across the floor and close out on that guy. Does that make sense? I Trust me, by the time you get there, he'll have the ball. So you gotta close out under control and then guard him on his two dribble drive, okay? Now, after you drive and pick it up, throw it to me, and then you come to the end of this line. After you slide two slides and cut them off, you go to the end of that line. You guys follow that? Okay. Want to give it a shot full speed to see what you think? Okay, give it a whack. Ready? Go! 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 Okay, hold. So, it's an exaggerated closeout, but it really, it really gets those guys sprinting from, in essence, help side to close out on the ball. Okay? Now, there are times where we'll let him go. We'll say, you have three dribbles and can take a shot. We will do that. But for a warm-up, we would just keep it going continuously. Continuously. And sometimes we break it up half the team down here, half the team down there, so they get more reps in. Okay? So what I've done is I've made you exaggerate your close Right? You would never have to close out that far in a game, I don't think. All right? But if you can do it in this situation, Chances are, when you have to close out from here to the ball, you would be able to do that. It would be easier. Okay? So just hang tight right here, or um, just come on over here, and just, you guys can either stand or grab a seat. I'm going to give them a couple of lists for about 10 minutes, then we're going to bring you guys out to show them some pick and roll stuff. So whatever you want to do, just get off the floor. Let me set up the pick and roll so you have a couple of, uh, so that when I say these things, when we do it live, at least you will have heard them one other time. All right? The two things that worry us the most, the two areas of, when we're on defense, the two areas of offense that worry us the most are transition defense, which we kind of talked about uh, yesterday, I think. And the other area is pick and roll defense. Because we figured, because those are the two hardest things in the NBA to guard. Okay? And um, I'm going to throw some key terms at you right now. Because when we get with the players and we break the pick and roll defense down, I'll be using these terms. So I want you to, to, to get a feel of it. As a matter of fact, can you give me two guys out here? Two guys? It doesn't matter. You're not going to go very hard. And where was the basketball? Let's just say you have the ball. Matter of fact, uh, give me a, a blue and an orange as well, another one. A blue and an orange. Doesn't matter what position you are. So move over a little bit. Go the garden. Just stand here for now. Okay? So. The first term is high hands, high hands. This is what high hands means. Don't dribble it every time we tell you to go off the pick and roll, just pretend like you're dribbling. Because when we do our, our, just our demonstration for our players, this is how the guys dribble. We don't even want to do this when we're doing demonstrations, right? So you're gonna dribble off, okay? I go, just dribble off. And let's say you can get over it, or keep them dribbling off, all right? 
and maybe you roll to the basket. Let's not worry about these two just yet. But as soon as you get off of the pick, one or two dribbles, you pick the ball up off the floor and look to either maybe throw it back over there, which probably you do a lot, right? If the roll's not open, you throw it back. And here's your view. You know how to handle? Yeah. Okay, do you have that turn here? Oh, okay. All right. Because as soon as he picks it up, I'm trying to, he's coming off this pick, and he's going, he's going, all right, as soon as he picks it up, I want him to have to throw it over me, or under me, so it takes longer to get there. That's, that's the concept of high hands. Let's not worry about going over it real fast and all right now. I just want you to know what that term means, high hands. We also, on the closeouts, can you get out there? And uh, let's say I'm shrinking the floor, or probably in your terminology, I'm helping, and let's just throw it over there. We close out with our butt low and our hands high, because we don't get on the bottom. We don't want the ball to be able to go directly into the post. So we have high hands. So that means I either got to come here, which takes a little longer, or I got to come there, which takes a little longer. That's the reason for the emphasis on high hands for us. Okay? Second term. Do most of you know what a stunt is? It's a fake help, right? So let's say you set the pick, go ahead off. All right, you have to go a little bit. You're not sure if he's going to get caught on the screen or not. So you slide a little bit here. Let's not worry about these guys right now, but go ahead off. Keep on coming. You pop. All right? Now, you're going to have to probably recover, but it's hard to get there like that. So a stunt, just so you know what we're talking about here, is what do you have to have? What do you have to have? What do you have to have? Good guess. All right, one out of three ain't bad. High hands. I mean, it would be great, like all the coaches are up there saying, oh, just get in front of him. Well, hell, it's hard, because this, this guy, said, he's been taught to set a pick. He's probably going to get a piece of you. So you may be trailing. So high hands helps us out. So when the ball's in flight, I have a man on guard right here, this piece of paper. All right? When the ball goes away from me, and I'll say this again a little later, our rule is we pull in. Right? So go ahead and throw it to the big man and shoot the ball. As the ball's in flight, I'm coming here just to make you think I'm going to guard you, which hopefully will hesitate a little bit, and then you're going to recover. But you're going to recover square. Right? So you can recover here. Right? Now maybe with the team, you, you really get there. Be it? Defend the middle all the way with full bodies? Okay. Well, if you make it to the NBA, you're going to have, no, it's going to be fun for you to watch me dunk on your ass. Okay? <laughs> so you'll see the back of my numbers. We, we force middle, we keep it out of the middle too. But we're more like here. In our stance, we, we have what we call no middle. You guys do? Yeah. So the, our baseline ankle goes directly to the corner. If our baseline ankle goes to the, to the uh, baseline, we call that a give. We're giving it. Or maybe you want that. You have like a, a eight foot nine center? No? Are you the center? Of your team? Okay, are you the shot blocker? Not really or no? Yeah, no, okay. I just wanted to get the truth. Okay, all right? So what we would do is we would, we would say no middle but our stance will be a little different, okay? Now, let's stop there. Here's the way we put in our defense. Forget yeah. about pick and roll right now. Pretend you can get, you guys have that white tape over here for your ankles, right, that white tape, athletic tape. We would tape the floor. Now, if in your mind's eye you can picture this, we would have a piece of tape halfway between the foul line and the baseline, right here. 
big X. Big X. So our guys can see it. We have the same big X over there. We would have a big X, the three point line, right here, right in the middle of the lane of the four. So you with me so far? An X, a big X, a big X. Then, halfway between the lane line and the side line. Right here, big X, big X. Why are they there? Because I told you this morning, we have no paint. We don't want the ball to get into here at all. So if I'm guarding the ball up here and I don't, there's no pick and rolls, I'm just guarding it, right? Uh, you know, chances are if I'm guarding him, what are you, right or left handed? Right handed. So I would probably be here, just kind of influencing the ball to his weak hand. But my ankle would be pointing to that big back so